Hello to my earth signs. Welcome to your reading for the week of May 15th. So this is a general collective reading. I do these each week for each element. That way you can see what's coming up for you, what the energy is presenting as for you. So you can use it to your advantage, okay? If you want a full, like, well-rounded view of your entire week, check out the weekly tarot reveal plus this video, and it's going to show you everything, okay? Especially because we have Mercury going direct now. Yay. Thank God. <laughs> it's been brutal. And we have Jupiter going into Taurus for a whole year. Hello, financial abundance. And then we have the Taurus new moon on Friday. So manifest, manifest, manifest. If you've never been in one of our um, full or new moon goddess circle events, I highly recommend that because we manifest together, we release together, we do oracle readings on each other. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so I shall have that up on my website very soon. Okay, so let's see. We're going to use this deck as the overall energy theme for you for your week. Then we're going to use the Akashic Tarot to look at what's working against you, what's working for you, and what is unseen. And then I'll clarify with this tarot deck, and then we'll pull some oracle cards for further messages, okay? So far, they've been really good. So let's see what we need to know for you, my earth signs, this week. And keep in mind, also, we're still on the shadow period of Mercury retrograde. So if you're still feeling a little bit wonky, that's okay. Okay, we have two weeks of the shadow period, which means the, the energy is just lessening up. And uh, you're going to start feeling lighter and be able to move forward. And it's just a lot better. <laughs> okay, so we have 10th house authority. Look at that. Now we see this person, right, which looks like they're, they're hiking. They're on a journey. And we see the mountains. So you can see the mountains as obstacles, but you can also see the mountains as wisdom. Okay. And it's all about your own, your, you know, your personal authority. And it also asks you, like, who do you look up to, right? Who is your inspiration that you see is a leader? Because this is asking you to, to take that leadership position in your own personal authority. Like, this is taking action, okay? So that's good. Let's see what we need to know here. I apologize for the noise outside. My office is right at the front of my house. So we get the road noise. All right, so let's see what we need to know. Like I said, we're going to look at the energy that is working against you, what's working for you, and what is unseen. Okay, so what is working against you? We have the king of keys, okay? What is working for you? We have the six of uh, forces, the waterfall, nice. And then what is unseen? The three of forces, the bird's nest. Okay, that is, that's good. That's interesting. So when we see the king of keys as an energy that would be working against us, what this would be saying is like, you feel like you're working towards things and it's constantly like eluding you. Kind of like if you were dangling a carrot in front of the horse to get it to go, right? The, the horse never reaches the carrot because it's just dangling right in front of them. But the thing is, too, is with this energy as like what's working against you, it's all something that is perceived, okay? There's no force that is like going after you or working against you. It's a lot of it that we do to ourselves, okay? It's just our perception of things. So let's see what we need to know through, through the tarot. Oh, all the kids are getting dropped off from school. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'm going to pull two cards for each. So we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we have Strength. So there, it, you know, there's a feeling of feeling like, there's a feeling of feeling. There's a feeling of being stuck. Okay. There's a feeling of, of lack, really. Okay, because there's a there's this eluded feeling. Okay, like my goals are it's like constantly moving the goalpost, and it's like I'm trying to stay on my ground. I'm trying to do the right things. I'm trying to you know be practical, but you know that's just something I've experienced my whole life, and so. 
That's just what my life is. Okay. So we have this, when we experience something over and over and over and over again, it becomes like ingrained in us, doesn't it? So we have to really work at breaking free from that. Okay. So that's what this is telling you. It's like, you're going to have to take charge and maybe look at somebody that inspires you that has, that has done this, that has reached their goals, that have broken out of this um, confinement and really start to emulate that energy. Okay. Learn from them, figure out how they took initiative. Okay. And you have to like, you're going to have to have help, right? Because again, this energy is like just ingrained in you. And it takes a lot of self-awareness. It takes a lot of reminding yourself. Um, It takes a lot of like people, you know, somebody holding space for you. There's just so much involved in this with like breaking this old habit. Okay. And what I really love about what's working for you is we have the six of forces, the waterfall. This is telling you that you have unending connection. Okay. <clears throat> so this is like your your life force energy that never ends. So if you connect to this and you use this energy to guide you forward, then it seems that life stops eluding you. Okay? Whenever you get into that power position and you listen to those intuitive messages, you tap into your higher self, you work with the universe, then everything starts to transform, okay? Because it's all about you taking control, you taking personal responsibility and really deciding that, yes, okay, we're going on this journey. We're doing this. Look, Knight of Swords, I like that. And then we have the Five of Wands. So here, I like the Five of Wands here because look, it's like a chess game, right? Learning how to play the game. And we have the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords, look, they're, they're riding on this feather. And the feather always represents like uh, angels and just the universe, right? And so this is the Knight of Swords moving forward swiftly because they are the defender of truth. They are on a quest, okay? They, they seek clarity. They speak their truth. They are just, I mean, swiftly going forward. And that's what happens whenever you connect to your higher self. Okay. And you can also see this as connecting to your higher self. Like we see it like pouring into this, to this knight of swords, right? So this energy, this psychic connection, these messages are coming into the knight of swords, right? Guiding you forward on which move to take next. Okay, and you won't have to struggle because you're connected. I hope that makes sense. If not, feel free to ask. Um, because the you know the five of wands, it can represent struggle, but can it can also represent you know learning how to get it together, learning how to play the game, training on connecting to this psychic energy. So there's a lot that can can be said here about this which is good, okay? Because if you learn how to do things, if you learn how to tap in to make the right moves, right? You practice this every day, then this energy stops being something that you feel is working against you. And what you're not seeing is we have the three of force is the bird's nest. Now this talks about preparing for expansion, okay? Whatever it is that you're wanting to expand on. So we, like I said earlier, we have Jupiter going into Taurus. So if you're wanting to grow your finances, then you prepare for that, right? You start learning how to, um, like what, where you should store your money, what investments or what you should pour your money into, or, you know what I'm saying? Like get a financial advisor. Okay. Um, if you're wanting to grow your finances through fi- finances, <laughs> through like a new business or a side hustle or something, you've got to start preparing for that, okay? Because if you're wanting to expand, then it's kind of like a a crab. A crab, you know, carries around that heavy, hard shell, right? But then they grow, and so they shed that shell. They're, they're preparing underneath 
right? They're preparing for this growth and then they shed that old shell. So you have to prepare for this growth and this is you tapping in and learning about what needs to be done, how to play the game, uh, training for whatever it is that you're wanting to uh, expand upon. Because here we feel it's eluding us, but we're like, no, we're taking authority now. We're no longer claiming that things are eluding us. Now we're tapping in to whatever we want and we know that we're going to be guided and it can happen really quickly. And then we're expanding. We're, we're preparing for abundance. So let's see. We have the tower. Yep. And the hanged man in reverse. Interesting. So what has broken down, you might need to break things down to, you might be renovating your home. You might be renovating something. There, there's something that needs to be redone. Because it wasn't necessarily like spiritually aligned, which is why we're connecting here to the higher self, to the psychic energy. Interesting. I like this because you definitely want to prepare for that expansion. And so it's going to take some like, uh, what's it called? Um, renovation. I can't think of the, or like demolition, you know, to do a renovation, right? Because like I said, whatever, we're going to have to let go of the things that were not spiritually aligned to you in order for you to tap into this expansion. That's great. Especially uh, being earth signs, especially if you're a Taurus, because um, you have Jupiter in your sign. <laughs> it's a huge deal. Like, don't mess around here. Use this energy. We want to release all of the old things, get, like clear out the clutter, um, Renovate whatever needs to be renovated. This could be with the physical world or it could be just, you know, your business and how you're structuring that. It's just make sure that what is not, you know, whenever you're like cleaning out your closet and they always tell you like if you don't love it or like clearing out your whole house, if you don't love it or using or you're not using it, let it go, right? Because you only want to keep things around that you love, that you're passionate about. And the more you evolve, spiritually the more your vibration raises spiritually the more you're going to want to like release things believe me i've gone through so many rounds of purging all the stuff out of my house and like the closet and everything because i used to collect so much crap because i was in a lack mentality and i was like well i might need this one day or i might not have the money to buy this if i ever need it in the future and it's like no Let's donate to, donate it to somebody that really could use it right now instead of hoarding things for maybe one day and then maybe one day never winds up coming, right? So it's like, let's not hoard things um, physically, emotionally, mentally. Let's not hoard things that are not serving us, that are not aligned. We got we to gotta take personal responsibility here, right? So let's see what else we need to know. This is really great energy that we're moving into. Like, I can't stress it enough. <laughs> Ooh, we have the wall. Obstacles. Look at that. And it's all perceived, right? That's what we're talking about here. It's like there's this, this illusion of something eluding you. And we always perceive that we have this block, but we don't have blocks. We Our natural state is to be abundant, at peace, love, everything, all the high vibe words you can think of, right? That's our natural state. It's just all the other crap that we come into contact with within our life is what starts creating these perceived blocks, okay? We do it to ourselves. It's just, like I said, just shit we picked up throughout our entire life and it sucks, but it is what it is, okay? So you can make it through Whatever it is that you want. Remember how I said sometimes the mountains are seen as obstacles. Um, but when we tap into this uh, psychic, intuitive, life force energy, then we rise above all of that. Okay, she's going over everything because she's learned how to play the game. She's, she's trained herself 
to, to be able to do this. See, it all connects. <laughs> And this is really good energy because it's telling you like prepare for expansion, prepare for growth and prepare to uh, do what is necessary for that. We have to create that void if we want to receive because if we're filling our house with things that we don't like or love or use, then it's creating stagnant energy. Look, elves, playfulness. I love this card because to me, this indicates like, let's see life as an adventure. Okay, let's look at the magic of life. Let's really um, like play with the unseen, you know, let's, let's use this as part of our transformation. Let's have fun. Let's happen to the inner child. Let's... Uh, Really trust in what we can't see and, and realize how magical life really is and, and see it as an adventure. And when we have playfulness, especially with the six of forces, it's like, let's, let's tap into this life force energy. Let's tap into our psychic abilities. And the way you do that is you start trusting yourself. You start trusting those little, little quiet, intuitive thoughts. Okay, because that's your higher self, that's the universe helping you by giving you this information, but you have to listen to it, you have to trust it, and let that guide you forward. It's, it's really a lot of fun, and it's like your own little cheat sheet. <laughs> it's your bestie on the other side helping you out. Let's see what else we need to know. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. I like that because Gabriel is known as the messenger. Okay. And he's going to help you. So whenever we, whenever we desire something, whenever we're wanting to go through this spiritual growth and um, we're changing, we're shifting, we're evolving, it's sometimes hard for us to speak our truth because we think people are going to think we're crazy. We are afraid people are going to put us down uh, so much, right? There's, there's a lot that goes with that. But Archangel Gabriel is here to help you to speak your truth, to live in your truth. Like I said, he is the messenger. He is the one that you might receive a message um, sometime this week, especially if you're tapping in to this life force energy. You will remember how I said you got to listen to those little intuitive thoughts or knowings. That's these messages coming into you or coming to you. Lots of blue here. So again, the throat chakra. And it's very healing when you can, even if you don't want to speak your truth to anybody, you can do it for yourself in the mirror. And that will really help you. Because that'll help you reconnect to your higher self. It'll help you um, to practice speaking your truth. It's just... It's really great to do because especially if you're looking yourself in the eyes, then your higher self will really start talking to you through you. It's fascinating. So you can try that for sure. But Archangel Gabriel, again, he, he may send you a message, like a big message this week of, you know, number one, they hear you. Number two, you're going to get some sort of insight this week. And number three, you're allowed to speak your truth. Look, the coyote. I like this one because it talks about life will bring something up for you to prove to yourself that you've done the work. And I believe we were talking about that this morning in the weekly tarot reveal. I can't remember if that was that or if I did it in a reading earlier. <laughs> they all start to flow together. But the coyote like I said, brings, brings something up to you so you can prove and show yourself that you've done the work and that you are right taking authority and you're using your wisdom, you're tapping into your higher self and you're, you're showing yourself that, yes, I've done the work. Yes, I'm going to use what I learned in order to navigate forward. I'm not going to fall back into old ways of fear, ego, depression, 
whatever it is. We're not going to anymore claim that life or your goals is eluding you. Okay. You've been claiming that for far too long. And so now we're going to move forward. You're going to tap into this unending life force. Like it's always there for you. Doesn't matter what time of day, doesn't matter how many days, like you want to do this every day. Okay. Because it's, it's there to help you. Yeah, I was talking about that this morning. I remember now because I was saying that I have people coming to me often saying, well, I've been working really hard on myself. I've been working through things, but this like popped up again. And I have to remind my clients that, well, it's because you're giving yourself an opportunity to prove that, yeah, you have done this work and you're going to use these new tools. And once you do that, then it stops popping up. We have Minimus uh, commune with the source. Well, there you go. <laughs> Crazy how they all talk to each other in it. Commune with the source. They're asking you to communicate with them, to have them help you make the right moves. Okay? But you, it takes practice. It takes dedication. It takes uh, you grounding your energy, connecting, everything. But the more you do it, the easier it gets. The more you do it, the more you're going to master that. That's really exciting. Like I said, with all this energy coming uh, in for us right now, use it, please, okay? So I hope this helps you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, comment. It just helps my channel grow. Uh, I want more people to be able to see these messages to help them. Um, if you need anything else, all the links are in the description, but I hope you have a wonderful week and make sure that you check out the weekly, uh, tarot reveal and come join our, our, uh, new moon goddess circle. Okay. I'll have it up on the website soon. All right. Y'all have a great day and I will see you next week.